What is going on everybody? It's Craig, movie number 39. Again, I if you've been watching these, God bless you, the mighty and the few. But I'm surprised we're getting there. I literally am only a few away from being completely on normal, on schedule for the 100. And considering I was at 16 not that long ago, a couple months and a half ago, this is, this is pretty cool. Um, we'll definitely get to at least 40 by the end of this month, so yes. Boy, do we got a doozy today. Slaughterhouse on the Hill. One, I love the poster. Slaughterhouse on the Hill. It's an awesome poster. It was on Tubi. It was a shorter movie. So that drew, like, drew me it drew me in. And I turn it on. I, I don't even look at the... I'll be honest. I see Slaughterhouse on the Hill. Okay? Guy in a pig mask. Kind of reminded me a little bit of Professor Pig. Uh, you know, at least an appearance from, um, after he got reconfigured in Batman. I know his original appearance. He was dead. But anyway, if you don't know comics, it doesn't matter. But I turned it on. And it was a very campy kill, you know, the pig guy who apparently is, he looks like a version of the football team's mascot, just attacked and killed two guys to begin with. And then they shift to nostalgia, they shift to a bunch of older guys, but my age, probably a little bit older, going back to the big game to relive their glory days. Okay, cool. And I'm seeing, like, the, the way they're acting, though, it's, it, this is almost like it, as bad as in Jeepers Creepers 3. When, like, they went to what was supposed to be this massive convention, and there's, like, 12 people around. In this case, I mean, they sh the, the footage they showed, they interspersed the football game look fine, but you have these adults, um, easily all 40-plus, except one, the one girlfriend of the one guy who was younger. But that's a whole other thing. You have this very attractive younger girl with this, with this guy who, on honestly, the way he looks, you wouldn't put them together. You know, he'd almost like is the guy you see selling meth in a movie, but that's neither here nor there. So they're there celebrating, and they're celebrating like they're giving each other high fives every two minutes, which is weird. Uh, the funny thing about this for me is I know one of the people in it, not personally, but, um, you know, someone who owns a, a toy store, actually, you know, which is pretty cool, online toy store, and, and brick and mortar, you know, Nightmare Toys, she was in it, and I'm just surprised to see, um, again, acting aside this movie has the same issue as the opposite issue of the Loch Ness movie the Loch Ness movie was just didn't make any sense you know and go back and watch that video I won't delve into it this movie the storyline could have made sense but the acting the nuances the acting was bad uh, or across the board and again I'm not an actor so you know I, I always say that within relative uh, and the storyline had potential essentially when they won the football team back in the day, they, the one guy, the, the one, the star player let, didn't do a block and some other player got hurt. And as a result, they got revenge on him by planting a ton of dope on him and causing him to go to jail where he got raped. And then he killed the guy who raped him and then he got 18 years. And then I guess he gets out and people don't realize he gets out, but whatever. Like, I mean, and, and when they tell the story to the blonde girl, the young girl who didn't know it, like, she's like, oh, okay, you know. No, that's a fucking horrible thing to do to somebody. That's like, you know, like slaughter high-esque almost, you know. It, it, no, that's not a cool thing to do. And then, oh, Wendell, ah, fuck, I'm screwing me. He's this, he's that. No, you ruined the guy's life because he missed a block. And if you're trying to make it sound like he intentionally did it, I know they said he missed a block. Well, you need to give me a lot more on that. But they didn't. Um, and then, listen, the kills were fine as far as practical effects go. With a low-budget movie, it's what you would expect to see. Uh, like there was lots of beheadings and then after he killed and gutted somebody he made a skin, did a skin suit so there was and there definitely was a lot of TCM homages I'm noticing that more and more TCM TCM my, my, a couple of my boys like that's like their holy grail horror movie and for me I, I, I do enjoy it but I am seeing just how amazing TCM's reaches are in all these reviews especially well budget I'm doing because there was literally a scene where the, a steel door slid open a guy got hit over the head with the hammer, fell, and you just saw his leg shaking as he's dragged in. Sounds familiar. Ah, there's so many things I want to vent about. There's also the one guy who's there with his girlfriend is being hit on by another girl, and, like, she's outwardly flirting with him. Like, if they're supposed to be friends, that's not a cool thing to do. Or if they're not friends, then don't establish it as if they are. You know, so I just, I don't get, I don't get it. And why would you go hang out in a slaughterhouse? Oh, the old slaughterhouse will be just the same. What's the other thing? Supposedly, they hadn't been there in a decade, 
it has to be even more, 18 years, because that's how long the guy was in jail. And it wasn't, you know, there wasn't a world, a, a pound of dust everywhere. You know, they still were able to sneak in the right way. A cop even got killed. He got snuck. I, I, I just... The premise of this movie, a killer coming back for revenge because of what was done to him. Again, Sword of High is one of my favorite, top five favorite 80s movies. So that's why I made that connection a little bit, although we've seen other movies like that too. We saw the same thing with um, the train, Terry Train. You know, I'm okay with that story. And it works well. It could have been done well with the acting, the nuances. But it wasn't. It was, they, you had a bunch of adults, they go to a slaughterhouse, they play radio, they dance, and then they're like, oh, now what? Then a couple of them just start banging in front of each other, like, okay, let's give them privacy. <clears throat> again, I would, as much as I say I disliked it, and I did, I wouldn't watch it again. I think it's cool that some movies like that get made, because people have their dreams to do it. You know, like, if you told me I could be in a movie that people said was a, a zero out of ten, and this isn't a zero out of ten, it is better than that. Uh, that's how I say something nice. Like I would do it in a second. It'd be badass to be in a movie. But this one again, just I, again the acting. Rock Ness, the acting was good. The storyline made no sense. Also, the motivation made no sense with the acting. This one, the story had potential, but then even the twist would, didn't make the twist at the end didn't make sense. The girl randomly said he tried to rape me. Like I don't know where that came from, and that turned. I, I don't want to spoil too much of it. Just I, I don't know. Uh, but we're continuing the downward trend. We had so many good ones, so many six pluses. Then we dropped down to five ish. Then we had a four seven five. Then a three seven five. I'm gonna give this a, a three a three two five. Um, like I said, the, some people probably really dig it. The poster is great. The poster is badass. So I give it that. So it gets the points just for that, I suppose. But anyway, folks, thanks for checking out. This is number thirty nine. And if you are watching these things, remember the contest? Tuesday I will announce the winner. You can still enter. You can Whether you enter just hashtag contest or you try to get your prize upgraded. It's your call. Just scroll down a little bit as far as my videos goes. Till the, ne till the next time. Peace.